Pangolins? Pangolins! What are they? And why haven't I known of them before? Do you know what pangolins are? No? Well, you're in luck! Because today, we'll be talking about pangolins! To start off, we have to know what kind of animal a pangolin really is. What is this thing? At first glance, it may seem like a reptile because a pangolin's whole body is covered with scales. However, make no mistake, the pangolin is a mammal. Yeah, you heard that right. They are the only known mammals with scales on their body like a reptile would. The exact reason why is unknown, but it is known that they are quite defenseless without their scales. If you threaten a pangolin, they will curl up in a really tight ball and push their scaly tail around to defend themselves. So be really careful when you play kick the pinecone in the wild. You never know if the pinecone was actually a pangolin. Pangolins have no teeth, so they use their very sticky tongues to catch ants, termites, and larvae. Their tongues are longer than their whole body, a whopping 70 centimeters at full length. Wow! They also use their claws to open anthills when they can't access it with their tongues easily. And baby pangolins are defenseless and ride on their parents' tail for protection. Some species of pangolins can also stand up on their hind legs, making them look like tiny T-Rexes. So cute! However, pangolins also have a dark side to their existence. It may come as a shock, but pangolins are the most trafficked animal in Asia and now Africa. They're in demand in, but not limited to, China and Vietnam. Their meat is considered as a delicacy and their scales are used for herbal medicine. Okay. To visualize, here's a picture for you, and a trigger warning for the faint of heart. There! Such cute things! And only to be eaten as a delicacy! They aren't even specifically bred for consumption like most legally sourced meat. According to the World Wildlife Fund, there are an estimated 117,000 captured pangolins. And that's only the tip of the iceberg. Most experts think that those numbers are only 10% of the actual illegal wildlife trade that's happening. It's come so far that there are now only 8 surviving species of pangolins in the wild. 4 in Asia and 4 in Africa. Thankfully, the hunting of these species are now protected by national and international laws. Just recently, back in June 2020 this year, China increased protection for the native Chinese pangolins, among other countries who also agreed to conserve the remaining species to save them from extinction. The government bans the consumption of pangolin meat, and the use of their scales as herbal medicine are deemed illegal thereafter. Uh, this doesn't fully guarantee the pangolin's safety from illegal wildlife trafficking. However, when you think about the fact that there are an estimated 195,000 pangolins trafficked in 2019 alone, then these laws advancing for pangolin conservation are definitely a step in the right direction. That is all for the video guys, and I hope you enjoyed learning about pangolins and about their conservation just as much as I had fun researching about them. And I hope that you enjoyed the video, and that you have a wonderful day, and go forth and stay curious. Bye bye!